I got I got a lot to say. Well, then go because we're recording. Okay. Oh, welcome to the show, folks. So we're doing a detour episode, and we felt like the tracks have been quote quote derailed, if you will, and we put on the brakes to bring you this special bleeping episode. <laughs> <laughs> And it's with what all the Disney community is talking about. And we just wanted to jump on and give our thoughts and do some ranting, if you will. But it is about the fight. And if you haven't seen it, go look it up. I'm sure you'll find it. But there's a YouTube video and it's going viral. And it's of a fight that broke out in Toontown at Disneyland yesterday afternoon. And with that said, it has been shared over a lot and then 1.4 million views the last time i saw so it's getting a lot of traction um there was a fight that broke out and basically from what we understand the alleged family is a family of like i want to say six people ish maybe eight um got into a fight supposedly their family they were taken and escorted away and with that said, they were let go because the women, and we'll talk about what happened, the women did not press charges. They were let go. And it wasn't until this video went viral that Disney finally got a hold of it and really understood the severity of what had happened that now Anaheim PD has put out a letter. Um, if somebody wants to pull that up, it's on my page and you guys can read it. Do you guys, does somebody want to read that? But um, look that up for me. And with that said, this statement is just saying that these guys are in a whole lot of trouble now. And there's a lot of traction and a lot of heated debate around it. So we're here to talk to you guys about that. And no waltz up. We're just going to talk to yeah, you guys about how we feel. It's Monday afternoon. This is going out literally like right after we finish recording. So guys, let's not make any mistakes for me. <laughs> no mistakes. <laughs> Just keep on rolling. And if we say uh, any bleeping words. You know what? I have a, I have a great little um, B Mickey Mouse laugh I use for that. <laughs> well, that's good. So guys want to talk about how this fight started or presumptively there's the video it's about what five minutes long you guys it's about four and a half minutes long okay. yeah and and speaking of that i'll start from right there when you say it's about five minutes long only based on what was shown on the the video footage it took i think it was the time and correct me if i'm wrong it was four minutes and 38 seconds by the time cast members arrived on the scene. Correct. So let's I'm sorry. back up a bit and so let's I, talk about I'm what actually going to stop you both right there because I watched the video right before we did this. And there is a cast member in the background the entire time in her headset telling somebody... Doing nothing. Fun. You know what, though? I'm going to say this as a former cast member. Fights have... have Fights happen way more than people realize. Um, that physical? Yeah. The, I, things I remember one time at Downtown Disney, some band had something happened at House of Blues, and they had to bust out the fire hose on the crowd. Oh my goodness! Because it was okay. a good fight. So but this what I'm saying, and I know, we go, I know we're going to go back, but I just have to get this out. But for me, just of how far it escalated that someone could have really gotten seriously bad hurt. And especially since children were in the mix, there should be a much better protocol to get somebody there much quicker. No, I right. agree. But for everyone who keeps saying the cast members didn't do anything, cast members cannot do anything. You will get fired if you jump in and That's start touching people in a fight. So I'm not necessarily really saying cast members, but I'm saying as far as security goes. Security, security still can't touch them. They're not police. They Very are. Safe. Yeah. So you're not to touch people because when you start grabbing people, then you put Disneyland itself in liability because you have acted as an agent of the company. I worked in HR at Disneyland. There's all kinds of legal gray area, but That's you're not to here. touch the guests even in a fight. I've been hit by okay. guests because they've had a bad day. And I can't hit back. 
So start it from That's the beginning. So the story, this what how this unraveled, the first scene you see, and I'm not going to go through every scene detail, but I'll give you, um, our passengers, the overview and kind of catch us up of what we're talking about here. The first scene that you see that the confrontation starts, a female spits into a gentleman's face. We don't know their relationship, but you can tell she spits into his face, and he immediately punches back he goes off and he's pretty tall um i would say he's what 30 35 and he gets very very violent with this girl the guy that there's another gentleman involved so there's basically two couples and a grandmother on an ebc from what i can gather and some kids in strollers there's about three children under the age of two and so the she gets she, she spits in his face the other gentleman, the other couple, those two guys start like looking like they're going to go at it. So they kind of start swinging and the crowd starts gathering around and trying to break this up, but it just escalates. So the women start bickering and screaming at each other's face. One of the guys who keeps going back and forth and is really the monstrosity behind this from what I see, and maybe I'm wrong, but he keeps going back and forth through these women and he starts literally punching both of these women in the face repeatedly. And once he gets a hold of the, I, I think it's his girlfriend or it's his significant other, um, literally abuses her, pushes her to the ground, starts stomping on her, pulling her hair, being very, and you guys, this is graphic stuff. So that's, and can I refer to us. him as Mr. Pink because he's the guy in the Mr. Shirt. Pink. There we go. Perfect. Mr. Pink hits the guy in white and um, Mr. Pink is with Tan Tank Top Girl. <laughs> Tan Tank Top Girl gets hit on the ground. She's literally being kicked by Mr. Pink and her hair is being pulled. That's when a group of real men step in there was about four of them. It took four men to get this guy off of her. And one guy with a red backpack, I call him red backpack hero man, puts a chokehold on this guy and they literally take him down. In my opinion, at that point, they should not have let him get up. And he and got up and it just kept happening. He kept escalating it and going back and going back. Really going quick, back. when you say get up, let, let us define that as holding him for the police correct correct holding him for the police because let's regret let's regress back what was it a year or so ago a drunk guy is in line for tower of terror mm -hmm. no, it was longer it was, it was tower of terror yeah. do you remember yeah. that yes it got into a fight and yeah. they literally put him to the ground security guard tackles him and leaves him there till the cops showed up he and was that's screaming, what, he was fighting, and that is how fast security should that's, have shown up. And that's and what I'm did. saying. I do understand the protocol of things, but when there are thousands upon thousands of people that go to these parks every single day, for the, who really knows, God forbid, that if he really was in that amount of rage to beat these two women down to the ground, Disgusting. that if he could have pulled something out, and something yep. more worse could have happened. See, so to me, true. that to me is more, I'll use the word precious, than to what the protocol is against one person as opposed Amen. to hundreds of people around. So that's Brandon. where yeah, I that say, right. pardon me passengers, screw the protocol. When you're in that moment, salute you. You have to do what you have to do. Brandon said, you know, the police he goes, if I were there, and maybe it's you getting yourself a situation, but he's like, if I were there, there's no way I would have ever let him get close to that, those girls again. Like, he is such a respectful gentleman that he just, he, he respects women and he understands that you don't lay hands on women, that it's something that women are very special and... They are not as strong, and I don't want to hear from anybody who is, I mean, I, I can have my own opinion. So if I get flamed, I don't care. But, you know, gonna... I think that he would have stepped in and really, you know what, 
mm-hmm. even of putting himself in the line of fire, he would have. And I and I respect that. And those gentlemen that took him down, but they should not let him have gotten up. Hold him for the police. Hold him for the police. Yeah. I, I 100% agree. I'm just playing devil's advocate when I say this. Once you've put your hands on somebody, even if they are fighting somebody else, you have put your hands on somebody, you have brought them to the ground, you have now opened yourself up to an assault. Charge. Okay, no, Jay. No, no, Jay. No, somebody. Okay. How is that possible? Wait. No, Jay, let me ask you, because you said that you were, you dealt with these sort of situations, especially working in Disneyland. Mm-hmm. If right. no one did anything... Just to say, if those four guys didn't take him down in the meantime, no one did anything and literally waited. It took almost five minutes for cast members to be there, let alone the police. If no one did nothing, sometimes even just talking, when somebody is in that rage, and if they would have let him do whatever else that he was going to do, and again, God forbid, there was an elderly woman there who did fall over. Right. Well, there were, and, people, and, that got, there were people that got injured... Who right. are your bystanders? And then, and then the kids. That just to say, if the kids got into the mix, when is I'm, there like where where is like I'm, the breaking point? I'm not defending the company here, um, and I'm not speaking for it. But I'm just saying from my own experience, there is a little button on your walkie-talkie that goes right to the Anaheim Police Department. They are on property. They will come find you. Sometimes it does take a few minutes to get around the resort. There's no underground Why did it tunnels. Take so long though. I don't know how to work there anymore. Here's it. No, exactly. That's it's a rhetorical question because let's get real. And I'm not going to need the podcast, but the specific, his name rhymes with wheat. <laughs> Pete, um, one of my favorite podcasters, he will tell you, you know, the security are really for show. There, You mm-hmm. can get a gun into Disneyland if you want to. You can get a, and I'm not condoning that, you guys. That's horrible. But I do, I, we are all desensitized. People get drugs into Disneyland all the time. Yes. Oh, heck yeah. How many times you walk around and you smell pot? It just happens. People are going to get in what they want to get in. And okay, real quick. If will. you're smoking pot at Disneyland, that's amateurish. You're supposed to eat the edible <laughs> you go in. No, it's true. I'm just saying that you've, we've definitely smelled it. And you're like, okay, you're on an attraction. Oh, oh no, I've, I've seen hot. people okay. with their high beams on who can't stand still and are sweaty as heck, if you understand my meaning. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But, with, you know, it's, it's with that said, what if one of them did have a gun, regardless of, you know, what had happened? It's, a, it's a, an atrocity that it took four minutes and 30 seconds for anybody to show up that could have intervened. The suits, so to speak. I did not even see a policeman show up. Did Was there an actual cop at the end? I didn't see the, one. The, the, the I saw security. Cut, yeah, yeah, the video cut before any police. There was the, the first, actually, the very first cast member that I saw approach the issue was a sweeper. Mm-hmm. Yes. But he was he the second one I saw. There was the one on the microphone the one and the one yellow. behind her guarding traffic. I watched the video. The cast members did what they were trained to do. That's did exactly okay. what they were trained to do. said that. However, with that said, it was way out of control. And, they, and I am just surprised that it took so long because how big Disney parks are, and they're always telling you, oh, there's security everywhere. They're undercover. I mean, maybe because it was tucked back in Toontown and not very many people go back there. I don't know. But uh, let me, that let was me, a long let me, time. Let me reiterate my statement here, too. When I say cast members, I don't necessarily mean the cast members of if, you know, with the quick service or they're standing by or they're guiding people. I, when I meant cast members, I meant Disney security. If right. they are security for a purpose, but yet they still can't, handle situations oh, sorry about that folks <laughs> so <laughs> that, what are they good for then yeah like, what, what, their, what is the what point of having do, them? yeah jay answered that for us maybe you do know like explain to our passengers and to us so a security guard if they're not allowed to touch anybody why have security is it really for a facade to make us feel like we're safe like the tsa i mean let's get real is that um, what they're for then Security does way more than we see. Um, okay. 
give them credit in this instance because this is not something they're supposed to get involved in. You know, they there's a reason we, they can reach the Anaheim Police Department at any time because something like this isn't for the cast members to handle if this is a case for APD. Okay, so and let's APD, say... APD, and I'm not saying you need, because I know how far away the station is from Toontown, so... Okay, how far if, is it? Um, if they're still in downtown Disney, you have to get from downtown Disney backstage to Toontown. Okay. So what if there was a shooting? If there was a shooting, we'd be having an entirely different conversation today. But that's he what was. I'm saying. But, but that's what where if, we're at with what the if, what, if that, what if it escalated to the point that if somebody got heated, and as, as we all agreed that we can get anything in any of the parks, unfortunately, and in that moment, if someone would have grabbed in their bag or in the stroller, pulled out a handgun. There are still people who it's some kind of rite of passage to sneak a handgun into Magic Kingdom. Correct. Right, but that's what I'm I saying. hear about it. But that's what we're saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. So if someone were, so if from it escalating to that point, from it taking so long, four minutes and four and a half minutes is a long time to have a gun in your hands. Like, why did it take so long? I think that George and I are on that. Like, I totally agree with you, Jay. I'm not. That is their protocol, but to have it take that long to have a cop show up, and we don't even know how long it took. The suits took four minutes. No. and 30 seconds the cops still weren't there and by that time he's he's walking away and he's totally knows he's like i'm going to jail i'm going to jail tonight i'm going to jail and he knows he doesn't care at this point. no no again he just and again, throws all of his morality out the window and again i'm not trying to bash the company i'm not trying to bash this i'm just trying to more so understand this because now it seems like now disney is saying oh well we didn't know any of all this they're knowing because of the video that's how right. long. Right. So read the statement. Did you pull that up? Who pulled that up? You have it. I, I have the statement. Okay. Um, then I have a thought about it. The statement okay. is from Disneyland Today, and it says, <clears throat> "In response to guest concerns regarding the altercation at Disneyland, any type of violence is inexcusable and will not be tolerated. Those involved were immediately removed from the premises and turned over to APD." Now, read the one that's by Anaheim Police. The one that's tagged in the post. I, I put it on my Facebook oh, page. Oh, I don't. Okay, hold on. And go to my Facebook page and scroll down, and you'll see. I took a picture. I snapped. I uh, screenshotted it or saved this photo, and I put it into somebody replying that same thing. And it's from Anaheim Police, and they are actually Okay, there's like 38 responding. comments. I know. Just scroll to the bottom. It's towards the bottom, Jay. But until you find it, we'll keep talking. So I am on the same page with, with George. I'm not saying that it's bad. I just feel like the right, response I got it. time needed to be faster. So here's what Anaheim Police Department is saying in response to this. Okay, Anaheim Police Department's tweet says, the Anaheim Police Department is aware of a video going viral on the internet of a fight that occurred Saturday night inside Disneyland Park. We responded to the call the night that night and found all parties had been separated. The initial investigation revealed everyone involved was from the same family. They were all uncooperative and wanted nothing done. A report was taken and they were escorted off property at this time. At the time, there was no video available. Now that the video is available, detectives are following up to see who did what and if there is potential for filing criminal charges. Okay, now, they, now this is what I'm saying. Now, if Disney already had that notion of what really was going on, I really don't think they would have released them the way they did. No, they wouldn't Correct. have. We, this is because we live in the age of everyone has a camera. It's not, yes. little, it's not little brother, it's not big brother, it's little brother. Everyone has a camera, you everyone is little brother. You can't hide anything mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. You can't hide. If you do and I, I can understand them not wanting to address this publicly because what this speaks to me is, is a sense of entitlement. And what I mean by that is it's Saturday night at Disneyland in the summer. We know it's hot. We know it's crowded. We've been there. You get tired as the day goes on. There, you will hear someone say, this cost me how much money? 
this could have to do with the cost of Disneyland. How much was it for this family to go into Disneyland? How stressful is it to go when it's busy? When you don't feel like you're getting your money's worth and tensions, were, and tensions flare up. Okay, I'm just going to add something to that. And I, I may get some heat for this, but honestly, this is the conversation we're having. And honestly, passengers, this is what it is. It's like, and I'm going to give a, a bold example of this. It's just like the, the young teenager that went inside the, the grocery store, licked the inside of an ice cream <laughs> container, and put it back. And now what is everyone doing? Now they're doing it. Blue bell. Now they're doing it with mouthwash. Now they're doing it with everyone is just going into stores. Why? Because she got away with it. And now this is coming to the point. Because everyone's got a camera. Now. But right. now she's being, now they say that she could get up, face up to 20 years. Of exactly. Okay. But I, don't got some I guess it's more so my issue is rather than people doing their job and doing investigation and everything while in the midst of if people are videoing, it's almost like they don't do nothing until a video surfaces. And it's like, okay, now we got to do our job. Because it, Well, why? Because PR is having a f crap day for right now. You know they're trying to play cleanup from this. Yo, so yeah. It's going viral. Well, and that's and the thing I mean the... about it. it. I mean, that's why I probably want to think. I know that they. one of the reasons they don't want this out is they don't want it to uh, become the next thing. Let's get into a knockdown brawl at Disneyland. Yeah. And, that, and that that's actually my concern. That's what I was getting at. Now, will people kind of follow that way of saying, Oh, well, if I end up getting into a brawl with someone at one of the Disney parks, they're not going to do let me go. We'll yeah. just, yeah, we'll just go. Amen. At what point does it become knock, the knock the Mickey Mouse out challenge? Yeah. Because uh, we live in a world where everyone's got a camera in their hand and they all want to go viral. Well, and that's why even with Walt Disney World, that's why they started having designated areas for the characters because there's just so many people and quote unquote, it, the cast members were saying the characters were tired of getting, becoming a football, <laughs> so yeah. to speak. And, and that's what I still loved about Disneyland was the fact, even with the free roaming of the characters, they, it, you know, they can still walk around. They can still, but I, I guess it's just more so with me is that, and I know it's, it's easier said than done. And I do know companies have their protocol and, you know, being in that moment, you know, Jobs are hard to come by now, and you want to follow your job, otherwise you lose it. But just in the sense of when it comes to guest safety, that if really no one can restrain, I'll, I'll restrain a person before it escalates, then I feel that there should be some way that actual the Anaheim police are more involved with the parks. If Because you have to think, there's so many people now than ever go into these parks. And especially with World, it's just gonna keep growing, growing, and growing to where it's gonna be hitting max capacity every day. Mm -hmm. So I personally feel that if security can't do really of what I thought that they could do, then the actual police should have a bigger part in it. And George, but that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about, about Disney playing PR cleanup right now. They are hearing this backlash about how they failed. There are so many, I mean, I have a lot of friends on Facebook that don't go to that, you know, they're just friends and family that don't go to Disney like we do. They're, they're just, they go every few years. And a lot of comments from the video I shared, they're like, not only do I have to worry about, you know, the price, now I have to worry about fist fights at Disney. No, this isn't Six Flags. It's 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 the fact that human morality has gone out the window, and there is no respect for other people. And it's really humiliating on Disney's part, in my opinion. I do think, I like Jason said, that they do have boundaries that they can't cross. Okay, I get that. But again, it's from the way the video looks and you just watch it. The response time is out of line and it's uncalled for. It's completely ridiculous. And that's, that's how I feel. 
I feel that way because had it been something else and worse and more of a tragic event or something in that line, four minutes and 30 seconds to have somebody show up that can do something is way too much time. So what really somebody, quick, yeah. really quick, and in real time, that ding was a, was a text from Chris upstairs because he decided to mute. He walked in and goes, what are you guys talking about? I'm like, oh, I like ghetto fight, loud Saturday <laughs> night. Go upstairs and watch the video. And he just texts me, Sofa King, many things wrong in that video. Dude would not be getting back up if I was there, dot, 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 FFS. Amen, so Chris. I have to remind him, um, I would not let you get involved. <laughs> <laughs> but he would, right? Because he, he would. He would. Man. Oh, he would. Dude, and he's six. Brandon. He's six four and three hundred pounds. And I've seen yep. four guys try to There's jump him at once, and they all like, like flies on the desk. Can't take him down, right? And, yeah. and this is Brandon. how. And this is how I look. And you know, because everyone sees it differently, and I just kind of put myself in that position. That if I was there with my family, with my wife, with my son. That again, God forbid something were to go down, you know, there is such thing as a crossfire. You know, there is such a thing as, yeah. and I don't even mean just even with a, a gun. I just mean you could be at the wrong place at the wrong time and Get you're on it. vacation and something can happen. So again, or, that's right. Go ahead, Mindy. Or the concerning, sorry to interrupt, but the concerning thing was, and I appreciate, I, I was like, gay girl, because you see another bystander, just a guest in the park, this little two-year-old toddler, maybe not even two, is walking around through this fight, not knowing what to do, crying his little heart out, scared to death. The mom picks him up and puts him on the ECB, leaves him there, and he gets down again. He's then walking around through this fight, and this bystander comes up and picks up this baby to, like, get him out of the crossfire that get him out of the harm's way because he could have gotten kicked or you know punched on accident and so she picked him up what and then i thought you know as brandon and i were talking it's like what keeps one of those girls from coming over and punching that girl saying let go of my baby right and that i do understand that you get involved you're taking a risk oh, of yeah. getting punched definitely you're getting you're mm -hmm. taking a risk of you know getting getting assault charges put against you and that, or you and picked that, up my baby you're trying to kidnap them because that's our world they're gonna be yeah. happy but even though they started it you can get the backfire and the backlash yes of all these absolutely things. and, so and that's people why don't step in and they they turn their head and in a way that's why it really shouldn't have been up to bystanders no it they had have. to come in they had to come in because <clears throat> after so long you have Mr. Pink, literally standing over, and he, he, he was a big guy. Mm -hmm. He was standing over. He's what, 6'4"? Kicking Wait. on top, stomping on yes. this, I, I assume it was his girlfriend. Brown tank. Or, or Brown wife. tank top. Um, yeah. I want to just really. say something before I forget it. Speaking of the children, um, watching this video, this is not the first time they have gotten physical with each other. So in the follow-up story... <laughs> I better hear about CPS going to uh, go pay a welfare visit. Yeah. Yes. Free and I have, and I actually, yes. and I yes. Yes. To violence on a regular basis. Yes. And you know what? It's and disgusting. I did, put, and I did put that in the uh, Mindy's post and I said, this actually should be looked at further more than just Disney. Because you can, the, here's the thing. The girls get hit and they're like, Oh, you know, she doesn't even flinch. I was telling Brad, I said, the moment my brother or whoever it is, my husband, I, if they punched me in the face that hard, I don't care. My adrenaline might have been off the rack. Like I would have been mad and putting myself in her shoes. The moment I get punched like that by a man, I would have sat down on the ground and literally sobbed to sadness. That, that anger would have turned to pure sadness. Like what just happened? Like you just hit me. Like, I just think there's no, you do not do that. And she just got up and like, nothing happened. Like, I, oh, well, I, I want to say something to that. part of life. I want to say something to that too, because I noticed that she was just ready for a fight. Um, 
don't want to get into it. We're not going to talk about it past this. So I spent like a really long time in an abusive relationship. I still flinch and raise my fist if you come at me too fast. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I, I, I am about. trained to, if you come at me, I'm ready. Mm, I'm sorry. Long that time nobody ago. Should not, and that nobody should lay a hand on another person, ever. Yeah, th it, that's really what it should be. And, and I'm a big advocate of that. It's not a man hitting a woman. It's not mm -hmm. a woman hitting a man. It should just nobody put their hands on anybody. Violence, that violence, violence uh, absolute, absolute, absolute last resort and only in self-defense. Yes, exactly. And that violence. And that. if everyone would keep their hands to themselves, then it wouldn't even have to be that. But that's so, an imperfect world. So now that we've talked about this, let's, let's do some predictions. What do you think is going to oh, happen? Wait, before we get into that, I just have one question. I don't know if either one of you know. So being that the Anna police made a statement when they went off right. scot free was that off of already disney property or did they get pulled in and the anaheim police released them nobody knows no one knows from what yeah. i understand nobody knows Here's i was my curious i didn't know if either one of you knew yeah no i actually i got up this morning and I, when I get up in the morning, I usually don't turn on social media for the first hour of the day. I want nothing to do with it. I got yeah. up this morning. Yeah, I wonder. Turned on what? Facebook before I even had a cup of coffee. I looked at this and I went, "Jesus, take the jungle steering wheel. I can't do this today." <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You just found the title for this detour. <laughs> That's so great. You know, I was shocked when I saw it. A friend had posted and I thought, what the heck is this? And I was not prepared to see what I saw. I wasn't either. I was when, I, not. when I saw the video, I thought it was sort of something just like confrontational words were exchanged, mm -hmm. you know, acting all that big. I did not know it was going to go into what it went into. And that was the whole entire point of this conversation. Did it really have to go that far? And as I yeah. said, with, with the protocol, I understand, then if they have to have that protocol, then there has to be a plan B to have police. And, and give the customer some credit because this is one of those things they train, they tell you could happen, but you don't see it happen. And when you do, you, maybe they're unprepared. And, I, and I'm actually more speaking <laughs> so for the, for the Disney executives that have to run everything. I'm saying more so they have to come up with something. Again, if when I say cast members, I mean more secure, more so security cast members. That if they are trained and they're not allowed to do so, that's fine. Again, I don't really. I just think that there needs to be something more because I think now this just opened up Pandora's box. I, I did have a little chuckle this morning after I had coffee. I wait. <laughs> Not my job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Okay, so I'm sorry. No, so maybe don't, a question. No, I said I don't want. To, we don't want to take hours to discuss yeah. this. No, it's just our real thoughts. Yeah. But if we're projecting forward, and we we'll answer one more question before we go, what do you think the outcome is going to be for this? Do you think they're going to be let go and nothing? A prosecution happens to these guys, or are they going to be put away? And we'll hear I, more I about think, this. I think now of the of how big it became, with how many views and how many downloads, and it's just a frenzy now. It's now the target viewpoint is now on Disney as okay. Now, what are you going to do now? Yes, I think as far as they go i think they have to look deeper into that to where they are trespassed off of the property and more so i think now the city has to get involved to, to wherever they're they're i don't know if they're are they locals did it say they were locals or if they're out of state know. but no. wherever they are that i think now they have to look more into the household for a much deeper thing because for them to just get up as if it was like a boxing ring they must yeah. be used to it. Yeah. And to have children I foresee, involved. Yeah, I foresee Disney beefing up security until this dies down, that to make us as guests feel safe because of the response time. They are getting so much backlash about it. And it's big. It's big. And Disney 
has got themselves in a hole that they have to dig themselves out of now. And I really truly believe that there, we are going to see tighter security around the park. Okay, this is where I take off my jungle skipper hat and put on my jaded hat. Um, I don't think anything's going to happen. I think in this 24 hour news cycle we live in, it's one of those stories like many that will be forgotten. And in a month or two, when we see that this family is going to court, we'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. So there we go, folks. We've got all three views <laughs> on what our predictions are. So the game show is who's the winner? <laughs> the game show is whoever gets the most hate mail wins. <laughs> <laughs> Don't at Mindy. <laughs> so at I, Stan. I, I'll take it. I'll take the heat. Stan, Dan, and here. Carolyn. That's who we are. <laughs> yes. And if you agree with us, it's Cindy, J, and George. <laughs> but um, I, we all know my feelings. I think we've all said it. So there we go, folks. Thanks, passengers, for hopping on with us. And, and now i got to ask Jesus for the it. wheel back. Take <laughs> the wheel back and give it to back to Jesus because the boat is pulling in, folks. Thanks so much for jumping on with us and talking about this hot debatable topic today it's gone from a hot mess to a spicy disaster there you go all right and i don't think we're having a outro no <laughs> this is know. just i'm just gonna put it out as chatting, it is huh? yeah good and really quick and i just have to say directly to disney we are all very passionate about this because we are true diehard fans it's because we love Disney so much. And we all see Disney as a place that nothing could happen. But in the real world, you know, unfortunately, with so many people, a lot of stuff can happen. George, so, I'm sorry, real quick. I'm going to cut you off there because it's 448 in the afternoon on a Monday. And we have jumped on to do an emergency episode about a fight at Disneyland. So I, I think everyone knows we are hardcore Disney fans. Yeah. George, that was the best I was just going to say what you were saying is so spot on and thank you for sharing that because every single word you just said, I could not have said better myself. So thank you for that because you're totally right. And we support Disney. We love Disney and we just want to see a better response time from Disney to take care of us because we do feel like we're there and we put into the Disney bubble and that nothing bad will happen. Uh, but it is a real world and things do happen, unfortunately. And we do have to keep our guards up no matter where we are at. So without that, thank you passengers and have a good night. And don't take it away, Ken. And don't take it away, Ken. Good night, everybody. <laughs> All right.